go to Lake of the Ozarks and I wanted to share something with y'all. Um, you know those little cheap Apple CarPlay and Android screens that you can get for like 50 bucks on Amazon or um, Timu or Wish or something like that. Usually they mount up here on the dash or whatever. I made a, a mount in front of my old potato of a stereo system for the Subaru that it just mounts directly on it using a um, nailer plate and you can just let me see if I can do it with one hand pop it off like that and it just pops on normally but it, like I said it's a nailer plate and it just goes into the I use the nailer plate and I mounted the um, adapter directly to the nailer plate. I had to drill a hole a little bit higher up and then I added felt tape to it. I got it from an idea from another YouTuber, but it's pretty cool. It just slides on into the CD slot. And then I don't know if I can do it with one hand, but we're gonna try. Yeah, I can actually. And then it pops back on and it's right in front of you. I used to have it down here, like mounted with that that dash mount and then before that I had it up here but it gets so hot in Oklahoma that the nano tape would just like unstick and melt and all sorts of stuff so that's why I chose this route and it works pretty well too turn it on yeah, for the most part I got the cords hidden except for right here and then I have my uh, dash cam up here and it's tucked away and everything yeah here it is Let's see if it'll connect to my phone at all I'm in the middle of cleaning my car out where like I said we're going to Lake of the Ozarks again this year my uh, and the reason why I got this screen because I the old Subaru software for navigation just sucks. It's it's such a potato. Um, so I, that's why I use the, the Android Auto. And then my wife, she'll use the Apple CarPlay. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Yeah. Anyways, that's a little cool little mount idea if you have one of these and you're tired of it falling off or whatever. Have a great day.